All right, here's a quick rundown on the box. So plug in uh, the power supply. Uh, your memory chip's in there already. Your little thing is in there for your keyboard. Uh, plug in your HDMI. Uh, hit the power button. Then it should come on your TV screen. This is what the screen looks like. So you have all these uh, apps that are preset. If you want to change these settings down here, just use your uh, arrow key and go to the plus symbol. And then you can go to, uh, you can check or uncheck any of these apps. Cody's already built in, so you can't ch check that. So I just had it set up for the popular apps are, are on the bottom. So you use the little arrow key to go back. So we'll go through all these apps real fast on the bottom. So here's Cloud TV. Alright, now I'm getting over there. So click Cloud TV. So you got a trial on there if you want to do it. There's some free channels. Uh, it's do it yourself. Some you can download apps over here. So you just play with. It. There's some cool stuff in here. So that's that first one. So I'm now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna use my little back arrow key. So exit, exit, yes. All right, the next one is Modro. So this one's got a bunch of uh, shows, and they're all similar to uh, to Cody. So uh, you got your channels up there, news, shows, movies, sports, music, gaming, where you can download stuff. So, and here's some already pre ones on there. So, and their settings are in the middle. So, you want to exit by going to quit. So, always try to quit out of a program. So, I'm going to hit that quit button. So, yes, I'm going to hit yes, quit. Oops. Alright, so that's Modro. So we'll go to the next program. That's Film uh, Live TV. It's just basically got all, you know, it's got your categories. So there's Live TV running right now. It's BBC, but you got, you know, over here horror movies, regular movies, entertainment, music, comedy. So. Uh, you can also cast if you had your mirror cast. Get your little mirror cast if you want to cast to a different TV. I remember you had those mirror casts. So that's uh, Plex. You're going to have to Google that later. And this is if you want to share stuff. So. so you can go up and down and whatever you want to do. See drama on demand. So I'll just back out of this one. You can play with it. Exit app, yes. So next one is App Toad. So I'll click OK on that one. And uh, I have the slow internet, so I, sometimes uh, things will load slow. The best thing to do is just take your time. All right, here's uh, you got your app, app stores, games. Um, it's highly recommended that you get a VPN if you're going to do a lot of um, 
uh, streaming movies that are like new in movie theaters yeah, um, stuff like that is uh, they don't want you really to do that but if you want to cover your identity you want to download a VPN and uh, there's some free ones out there that you can use uh, this one's got Showbox on it and there's just all kinds of different ones you just gotta play with it you know you already have Kodi installed so uh, Madro's already installed so this is just more more stuff more apps uh, you got entertainment you know all your stuff is you just gotta play around with it so so we'll just exit out of this uh, where's the button at there it is uh, exit the next one is crackle I'm sure you've heard of crackle just a lot of free stuff on Crackle. So, got a lot of free shows, uh, movies, you know. Uh, and there's some pay stuff on there too, but there's a lot of free stuff, you know. You can go down the list. So, just gotta play with it, and then of course you got you can mirror cast to your other TVs if you, if you wanted to. So that's crackle. Uh, so we'll exit out of that, and then Plex is uh, is really excellent. You're gonna have to Google Plex. It's uh, kind of like a Cody but it's its own program similar to Cody uh, you can watch some videos on YouTube about Plex uh, you can go on Plex's website um, it's uh, you, you really need uh, like um, like a hard drive connected to it like a server so you make your own server uh, with it so it's 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 pretty fantastic system if you ever want to set up a plex system a plex server uh it's uh it's like supposed to be top notch now so uh you can google that uh or go to their website later so we'll just exit out of that for now because i don't want to do no setup uh with my information uh the next one's ttv And uh, TTV is just, you know, for movies and shows, just another another program uh, for movies and shows. Uh, they just play like little commercials, and then uh, the movie will play. Uh, like I said, uh, I got a slow internet, so even though I hit the OK button, it's it just takes like a couple seconds, so it's it's working. So... This, your box has only got like a one one gig memory built in so and then you have your uh, 32 gig uh, chip is in there too but uh, uh, TTV is pretty good so they got like all the newer stuff there's Venom, A Star is Born, Predator, None you know and then you got your uh, old shows, new shows so so that's uh, TTV. So, uh, so I'll just exit out of that. <laughs> exit app, yes. And then this this is for like uh, memory cleaning. You have one there, but this is like a this is like a better one right here. So I'll just open it up real quick. So there's a lot mem mem oops, memory clean. You know, this will automatically uh, clean your memory. So everything's all already set it up for you. So all you got to do is uh, run the clean button. Uh, cache clean right there. So.
Uh, the thing with, uh, see, then you see you got that much, and just hit the clean button. Those are the ones that are running in the background, because we opened all those files up, so now they're all running in the background now. So every time you open up a program, it's it's in your memory. So we'll just hit the clean button. Oops, you got to point the remote to your box. So now everything's cleared out. So I hit the. Uh, arrow button back so that's uh, pretty much what I set up on your uh, screen on your bottom bottom row now there's some more there's some more apps in here that you can play with you know there's uh, uh, go live TV um, uh, movie player Netflix if you have a Netflix account you don't really need uh, need it because uh, Cody has the Netflix on it uh, but if you have a Netflix account you can use this box with your regular Netflix Pandora's on there there's Plex again so and then you just use your arrow key to go down so Vino is good for a lot of videos YouTube is for a lot of movies and videos so then we'll go back here hit back this this is your Cody so we'll just hit that now and uh, like I said I put that Durex build on there for you so and when you first plug this in and power it on it's going to take a good solid five minutes to update and clear your caches. So what I recommend is once you plug your TV box in, don't turn it off. Just, just leave it on. Now this is that live TV thing that I was talking to you about. I always hit remind me later because um, I don't watch a lot of TV or I don't watch a lot of cable TV. But if there's a lot of cable TV shows that you have to watch, like on E or, or HBO or Showtime or whatever, you might want to get this. It's like $20 a month. And it's a TV guide. And all your cable shows, like if it comes on Tuesday at 8 p.m., you want to watch that show on that channel live, then it's uh, it's uh, this is the what you need to get. So for right now, I'm going to hit remind me later. So, and here's all your programs. All right, so we'll just try one of these over easies. We'll try this one for, we'll just do a movie real quick. So, uh, we'll just go to uh, new movies. And we'll just uh, see what can I pick here. Let's see if we got all the newer movies there. Uh, let me go back to most popular. Movies. And most popular. We'll see what's most popular here. And uh, we'll say The Stars Born is a pretty good movie I heard. So I'll just hit that. And then, like I says, uh, depending on your internet, it could take a second, you know, to load. Just don't be hitting the keypad like put a hundred times, you know. Just click it once and wait. So now it's loading all the streams up there. So all the providers. So far, it's got a wow, quite a bit, 106. So 
So now it's loading all the providers. So like I said, depending on your internet speed, it could take a minute, couple minutes, few minutes. So, but wow, I'm pretty impressed with that movie has all those streams, that many streams. So it must be pretty popular. I haven't seen the movie. I heard it was good, so I'll have to check it out. So now you'll see in the corner here that it's still working. So don't be hitting the keyboard, keypad, or anything. So just let it do its thing. So here's all the streams. So I'll just first five are usually good. I'll just try this third one. Uh, hit enter. Hit OK rather. So I hit the button now. Just like I said, just let it. Don't be clicking it a hundred times. Just press it one time. Let it do its thing. Make sure you're pointing the remote exactly at the uh, TV box. So don't have anything blocking the TV box. So there it says it's working in the corner there. So now it's starting right here. Usually you get these little things uh, after the first few minutes of the movies, they'll they'll disappear. They'll, these little uh, advertisements or whatever you want to call it. But there's the movie. It's starting to play. So let me back out now. So now I hit the back button again. So now I'm hitting the back button again. See, I'm going back to the, all the previous screens. So now you got this right here as your little to, to shut the movie off right here. So you want to move your remote to control to there see right there where I got it now see now I'm on the square dot I have to use the bathroom or fast forward or, or, or pause so I want to cancel the movie so it's hit the square box so there now the movies canceled now if you want to add your own add-ons uh, use your remote and go to add-ons so like here this easiest way to if you like you might have a friend that says well here load this new app this is the best app now now blah 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 so i'll go to search i, I like fantastic so i'll hit the uh search and then you just type in uh the name of the app that you're looking for okay oh now i gotta switch the mouse pad off yeah so now here see there's fantastic now so there's the app so let me go through that again so we understand how to how to install apps so go to this you're mainly on your movie screen so those are some of the best ones that are down there for movies so you want to do an add-on you will say you want to like I said install fantastic so go to just go to this search install and then type in whatever the app is called so I have to type in fantastic again oops oh, shit oh here's the back button right here okay so now I'll type fantastic F A N T A Fan S Fan Fan Tass. Uh, where the hell was uh? Oops, fantastic. So since I don't have the keyboard, I have to switch over to the mouse. So there's the mouse thing right here. And then, uh, where's the mouse hit? See, there's the mouse thing there. So now I have to press the OK, then switch back to the regular key, and then hit OK. So there. There it is. 
so if I had the full keyboard it'd been easier so but so now there's uh, there's the app right there so so now I'm just gonna click OK see and there it is install and we gotta make sure uh, we set it up for auto update so there's a downloading so and this is from fire stick guys so so this is uh this is a pretty good app fantastic for movies and shows but that that over easy was good all those other ones are good so so like i said i got a slow internet so it's gonna start downloading so when this is done, I'll show you where it installs to. Alright, so now it's installed. It says enabled. It's done. So now it's done, we can go back to uh, the main screen. So I want to see where my add-on, the app that I added on. So I can go right here to my video add-ons. Click OK. So then it should be in this list. There it is. There it is right there. Fantastic. So there's all the other... Uh, Mod rows in there over easy plant center resistance sports devil and uh, these are just basic I mean just the bare minimum uh, but whatever you want to add on there I, that's how you add them so um, you don't really have to look at these other things but like I said the only way the best way to learn is to play with it so and if you want to do that uh direct tv that's that's you got to pay for the tv guide like i just explained to you later now the best way to exit out of here is to use these buttons down here so always shut down properly always properly shut down so you hit that exit cody and it'll save all your settings so that's if it's frozen or something for faster shutdown. I just use the blue button. So hit the blue button. And uh, it should pop up exit to confirm. And then that's it. You're back to your main screen. So and that's, uh, that's your TV box.